Hello, my name is Apostol Gramado and I will be talking about our paper on multipolar representation of protein structure. This paper was published in BMC Bioinformatics. Part of our motivation uh, for this alternative parameterization is that cooperative effects at multi-residue level are important in the function of protein molecules. The Cartesian coordinates provide only a local description and therefore cannot effectively capture multi-residue features. Then the function may be relatively robust with respect to small variation in uh, the positioning of individual residues uh, and more sensitive to larger scale characteristics. Then one can one discard details at scales too small to matter. On a different note, uh, our motivation is related to limitations of the present Cartesian representation. The effective number of degrees of freedom determining the function of the protein is much smaller than the total number of Cartesian coordinates. No objective criteria are known uh, to allow the uh, discarding the non-essential coordinates. Then uh, rational design of a dissimilarity function with the Cartesian coordinate framework typically leads to the necessity of an amino acid level assign alignment and an equal number of residues in the structures. This breaks the triangle inequality, which is an important requirement for the correct description of the closeness of proteins in the configuration space. Our method is based on uh, three-dimensional shape descriptors, which are uh, inspired by the description of the electrostatic field created by a set of point-like charges. Uh, our parameters are the multiple moments of the coordinates of the particles uh, in the system. Uh, these parameters form a hierarchical uh, series in which uh, a parameter L describes a rank of the multiples. Uh, for each rank, there are 2L plus 1 uh, moments, which together form a 2L plus 1 dimensional uh, vector. Then, as any other vector, these parameters uh, form a vector algebra, um, and therefore they have metric properties. The metric properties of the multiple moments can be used uh, in order to uh, define a distance in the configuration space of the uh, protein. Uh, using physical principles, uh, one can uh, use uh, as a distance for uh, between two multiples of a given rank L uh, the function given in formula uh, 1. Uh, the global distance then between uh, two uh, proteins can be defined as a sum over uh, distances uh, uh, over all uh, multiple uh, ranks uh, desired in the representation. The uh, maximum rank of the multiples uh, retained in the representation determines the lowest or the finest resolution uh, retained uh, in the representation of the proteins and therefore in their comparison. Now for the effective, for the effective comparison uh, of the protein, one can adopt uh, two approaches, uh, either uh, by, uh, with the superposition of the proteins or by using a canonical uh, positioning of the uh, proteins uh, for the purpose of comparison. Uh, to assess um, the relevance and uh, the performance of our uh, method, we use uh, as a benchmark set uh, a set of proteins uh, for which an expert analysis is available. Uh, this uh, set consists in 31 um, protein kinase-like molecules, uh, which were studied in the uh, paper uh, listed at the bottom of this uh, slide. Uh, for the comparison, we retained the whole catalytic core uh, of the proteins, but we did not make use of the alignment uh, between proteins. The upper uh, and uh, left band uh, in the matrix shown in the uh, slide um, represent distances between representatives of atypical kinases, um, and the dark color um, denotes the fact that they are um, uh, relatively far in the configuration uh, space of the set of uh, proteins. By contrast, the lowest um, uh, left the lower left uh, 25 by 25 block uh, matrix represent distances between proteins in the same uh, typical kinase uh, family, uh, and therefore they are uh, properly um, represented by uh, lighter uh, colors in the matrix. 
the result correlates well with um, the ex expert analysis, while distance matrices uh, based on RMSD uh, measures do not correlate as well. Some clustering uh, seen inside PPKs uh, reminds various groups, even though there is little shape discrimination at this level. To test the capability of the multipolar uh, parameterization to scale to uh, higher levels of details, um, here we show uh, a comparison uh, between the distance uh, matrix in the multipolar representation and the distance matrix in the uh, Cartesian representation, uh, where uh, we only compare the aligned portions of the uh, proteins. Um, the correlation between the two methods is clearly visible uh, on these um, uh, matrices. However, the depiction of the superfamily that we analyze is less well correlated with the expert opinion. This is caused by inconsistencies induced by the alignment, as we pointed out uh, at the beginning. In conclusion, the multiple approach allows uh, for a multi-scale description, and implicitly it offers a systematic method for deriving reduced representation of the structure. The multipolar representation resolves the TI uh, triangle inequality inconsistencies uh, associated with the Cartesian coordinates uh, methodology. Uh, the multipolar based comparison seems more robust uh, in discriminating between various families without alignment and even without superposition. Uh, from a biological standpoint, the robustness of the representation when compared to uh, the RMSD uh, comparison suggests that multi-residue features are more relevant for protein classification. Finally, from a historical uh, perspective, uh, protein comparison based on alignment followed by superposition may have appeared as an ideal method to solve two problems at the same time. Uh, one, identifying what is relevant to compare, and two, scoring the similarity. Our results uh, seem to suggest that we should probably reconsider uh, the us uh, usefulness of this approach. Perhaps we should decouple the two problems and look for independent solutions for each of them.